China has unveiled a new flying car that will replace conventional SARS. In the course of their 1024 Tech Day, Spang Aero 2 presented its flying vehicle to the public. It maintains a proximity to the patent photographs that were made public earlier this year. The rotors of the Spang's flying automobile can be folded up and the vehicle can be driven on ordinary roads. It was announced by the corporation that they are working on the idea of flying automobiles in the opposite direction. A mothership and a flying body are both included in this modular automobile. Hespeng Aerot is a company that was established in 2013 with the financial backing of Heek Xiaoping, the vice president of Xpeng. 2016 was the year that Aerot manufactured its very first flying vehicle. On the other hand, it appeared to be anything but an automobile. It resembled a massive drone appearance. It was then followed by five generations of aircraft manufactured by Aerot, which appeared to be more similar to drones. In the year 2021, the firm announced that its sixth-generation vehicle will be transformed into a flying car. A new course of action for the development of flying vehicles has been created by the corporation, which has also revealed its most recent prototype. A six-wheel drive hybrid electric aircraft carrier van and a new version of the flying supercar with a fully disguised airframe are two exciting new concepts that have been shown by China's Aero T which is making tremendous progress through the development of its electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL flying vehicles. We were perplexed and perplexed when, in 2021, the very young electric car maker Xpeng revealed that it was going to invest more than half a billion United States dollars in a new flying car subsidiary. Twelve months later, however, Aero snaps the smile from our faces when it began flight testing a two-ton prototype of the X3 flying car. This prototype, which essentially resembled a sporty hatchback with a large drone on top, was supposed to be a flying automobile. Even though a significant portion of what you are about to read does sound absurd and unworkable, we are unable to rule it out. Aero appears to be fully committed to delivering some really strange concepts to the market, and on top of that, Chinese aviation authorities have recently demonstrated that they are eager to throw out the red carpet for new ideas. This comes at a time when Europe and the United States continue to roll out the red tape. The first concept that AeroT presented at Xpeng Tech Day 2023 was what the company referred to as a land aircraft carrier. Although it is not a flying car in the traditional sense, this brutally futuristic van with six-wheel drive and gray panels is essentially a ground deployment system for a two-seat EVT Vola multi-copter that travels in the back. While the van opens its rear doors and squats down on its suspension, a boxy tiny aircraft is automatically placed, folding out its landing gear. The deployment device is a lot of fun to use. Then, after the van is removed, six small arms fold out from the top of the aircraft's cabin. Each of these arms is equipped with a big carbon fiber propeller and an electric engine. And then, well, it takes off as you can see in the concept render video that is provided below. There are even a handful of additional horizontal cruise propellers included in it. Aero claims that the van will be powered by a range-extended hybrid power system, which will not only allow it to provide multiple recharges for the air vehicle, but it will also be able to carry between four and five people, which means that you will be able to drive off and meet the air crew wherever they land. While the business is promoting this for use by emergency services, it is also being marketed as a toy that may be bought privately. A more recent look at the operation of the flying supercar was presented in the second concept presentation. The original concept only utilized two very large propellers that were positioned on fold-out arms, However, the business is currently transitioning to a more realistic four-arm system that features eight propellers that are mounted coaxially for additional control and redundancy. Despite its long, low, and sporty appearance, this automobile will nevertheless store its flight gear internally, ensuring that the essential flight gear will not be destroyed by debris encountered on the roadway. There is a new video that can be found attached below that shows the extended roof of the vehicle lifting to allow the airframe arms to fold out. Additionally, while the driver is inside the cabin, the steering wheel retracts out of the way so that the driver can take the joystick and become the pilot. Keeping in mind that it was not only a render film, Aerot also presented an actual concept vehicle, which can be seen at the top bar piece. The vehicle was designed with all of the flight gear folded out. As of right now, it is not immediately evident how functional this machine is, whether any of the fold-away technology is functioning, or whether it is ever intended to be a flying prototype as opposed to a show car. On the other hand, it certainly has a cool appearance, and we wouldn't be surprised if it, or something that looks very much like it, were to get airborne within the next few months either. When it comes to the question of whether or not Aero T will be able to get any kind of realistic flight range out of this thing, we have a strong skepticism that they will be able to do so. However, physics does not provide any obstacles that would prevent such a flying supercar from getting off the ground. 
Even though electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are often constructed from the lightest feasible materials and are designed particularly for the sole purpose of flying, they still struggle to carry enough battery to go exceptionally far with a couple of passengers on board. The flying supercar that Aero T is developing needs to be able to handle all of the weight on electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. In addition to the folding system, wheels, suspension, motors, batteries, and crash testable chassis of a street approved vehicle. Therefore, there is no reason why it cannot fly. Nonetheless, we would be quite impressed if it could travel 20 kilometers, 44 miles in the air while using the battery technology that is currently available. It will be really interesting to observe. At least for those of us who have been following the electric vertical takeoff and landing area for some time, the final thing that Aero chose to publish was the most impressive. A video of its novel low-altitude ballistic parachute system bringing an aircraft down from barely 50 meters, 164 feet, off the ground. Aero continues to be one of the most peculiar and fascinating firms in the world of electric vertical takeoff and landing. This team's next progress report is one that we are looking forward to seeing. A modular flying automobile designed by Xpeng, a flying body and a ground carrier, sometimes known as a mothership, are both components of the modular vehicle. The mothership is vested with six wheels and has the appearance of a truck. Its futuristic design is reminiscent of the Lay Auto Mega MPV minivan that was just recently introduced to the public. Inside the carrier, there is room for up to five people. An extended range electric vehicle, EREV, is what it is, not an electric vehicle, EV. Inside is a flying drone that is powered by electricity. It is possible to carry two passengers on this drone, and it supports both manual and automatic operation. Shebang did not present a real prototype of this modular automobile on Tech Day, but they did release some render images and a video of the vehicle. There is a claim made by the company that the modular car is their next direction in terms of mass production. Kifbang Aerot is relying on the modular flying car because the transformable flying car is becoming increasingly difficult to produce. It is not an automobile, but rather a truck that has a massive drone mounted on the roof of the truck. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.